So we went and visited Lucy Max Smith's home last week. And my girlfriend asked one of the sister missionaries before I could stop her, is it true that Lucy Max Smith smoked a pipe? The sisters were not happy about that question. They told us, no, there's no way that she smoked a pipe. In fact, one of the sisters was kind of forceful about it. On my word, you give your opinion very decidedly for so young a person. So there is a man named Thomas Gregg who wrote the history of Hancock County, Illinois, but he also wrote a book called The Prophet of Palmyra. And in his book, he shares a letter from Stephen Harding in which he tells a story of Martin Harris freaking out as Oliver Cowdery was reading the Book of Mormon manuscript. This story is also told by BYU professors, such as Ronald W. Walker. Anyway, the candle sputtered and the flame turned blue, and Martin Harris was convinced that it was the devil. Stephen Harding says that most of the family retired to bed after that, and that the Book of Mormon manuscript was carefully put away. But he goes on to talk about Lucy. In the meantime, Mother Smith loaded a clay pipe with tobacco, which she ground up in her hands. A broom splint was lighted in the candle, and the delicious fumes issued in clouds from the old lady's mouth. Anyway, I like the story because it makes Lucy more of a person, like it humanizes her. Like the word of wisdom wasn't a commandment. There's no reason for the sisters to feel shame because Lucy smoked. But please don't smoke tobacco. That's really bad for you.